Good day. My name is John Martinez Harris, BSMT2C. So on this video, we are going to perform the three techniques used in fecalysis. The routine fecalysis, cato cuts, and scotch tape method. First, we are going to know what is the proper specimen collection. So the specimen required for fecalysis is a stool. So before you begin with the specimen collection, it requires a few things. First is a stool sample container. A pair of gloves and a clean plastic container. So to prevent toilet water from contaminating the stool sample, it is important to defecate on a clean, dry plastic container, collect the parts of the stool that contain blood and mucus, and put it on a small container provided. So the sample should be at least peanut size in shape or the size of the thumb at most. Label the container with patient's pool's name, time, and date of the collection. After collection, it is important to submit the stool sample to the laboratory as soon as possible. This urgency is because some parasite, especially those who found in a watery stool sample, is difficult to find after 30 minutes has passed. After we know the proper specimen collection, we are going to do the first technique which is the routine fecalysis. This technique requires two examination, the macroscopic and the microscopic examination. The materials needed, glass slide, cover slip, NSS, and applicator stick. So first is macroscopic examination. Macroscopic examination starts with medical technologies observing the characteristic of stool by using their naked eyes. So the medical technology record the color and consistency of the stool whether it not contains mucus or if the color is red, green, black, or brown. So the medical technology also further notes the consistency of the stool whether it is form, hard, watery, or so. So, in this sample, the color of stool is brown and the consistency is form. So, ne next is microscopic examination. So, this examination uses a portion of stool mixed with normal saline solution. So, the medical technology look for the parasites, cells such as RBC, WBC, or FAT, harmful bacteria and mucus threads.
So, the next techniques is Katukats method. So, the purpose of these techniques is to detect the helmets, eggs, and feces, including the soil-transmitted helmets and the intestinal schistosoma. So, the materials needed in Katukats method, first is applicator stick. Tang depressor. Glass slide. Cover slip. Paper, cello paint tape in malish it green, stool sample, and cardboard. So, the last method is the scotch tape method. So, this should be performed before the patients have washed or defecated because the eggs are generally deposited at the perianal at night. So, the materials needed for scotch tape method is pencil and adhesive label as patient's labeling. The slide, wooden applicator stick, and the cellotape. 